It's an important topic that often gets ignored. But Tuesday at Columbus Afrocentric Early College K-12, 8th and 10th grade female students learned about the frightening reality of human trafficking. The Lynx Incorporated Twins River Ohio chapter, along with local organizations working to combat human trafficking, spoke on what is sometimes known as a hidden problem right here in Columbus. At the age of 13 years old, I was being coerced. What coerced me is that a man was giving me his money. 13 years old, I was coming in the house with rats. Speakers Barbara Freeman and Stephanie Rollins, both victims and survivors of human sex trafficking, shared their real and raw story with students. What I want to let you know is that I'm a 30 year survivor of human trafficking. And I was trafficked at 12. I was considered an habituate compulsive runaway. But I was groomed. I thought he really loved me. More than 500,000 human trafficking cases, most involving sex trafficked female victims, were reported in the United States last year. According to the National Human Trafficking Resource Center, Ohio ranked fourth in human trafficking in the country, behind Florida, California, and Texas. I was scared, honestly. When I was hearing their stories, it was like, wow, like, do you, like, and it happens in Columbus. Mikea Trust and Mariana Limley are both 10th graders at CAEC and a part of the group Any Girl Can, an organization that encourages young women to have big dreams and pursue them. Both girls agree that this is a conversation that all students can benefit from. It can happen anytime to anybody and you never know when it's going to happen or who it's going to happen to. So the, the younger you talk to them about it, the more prepared they'll be along the way. While human trafficking occurs nationwide and to people of all socioeconomic levels, runaways and homeless youth are among the most vulnerable, according to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. The 2018 Ohio Attorney General's Office Human Trafficking Annual Report says local law enforcement identified 400 human trafficking cases last year. Out of those cases, 199 were potential victims. Female victims were the most commonly identified human trafficked victims, 43 of which were 17 years old and younger. The only time I've heard about it was uh, my freshman year. and. It's like I never, I knew it was serious, but I've never heard the stories from actual sex traffic victims. And it was like, dang, like, y'all really went through this and now they're here, now they're telling us about it. And I feel like other females in lower, grade, lower grades than me should know about this too. And they should keep learning about it as they grow up.